So yeah, I play uh, both players a lot, and Mr. Reed is a very aggressive player. Just like flat out, like he will run at you and do like things he shouldn't do and try to make him work. And sometimes it works out well, other times he gets spotted for it. And then Mr. R is a player that tries to just kind of do as little as possible until he conditions you and punishes your habits. Okay, yeah, yep. Punish the Nair, no big deal. If he spaces those Nairs properly, you see that Mr. R doesn't get punished, but if he spaces them poorly, he gets punished. Challenges the forward air with his forward air. I mean, right now, um, going even, like, Mr. only got a couple hits, but the hits he got a lot of damage. Where Mr. R has got, like, a lot of hits, and it's just not adding up yet. Oh, Mr. E does not work for the air dodge. Trades. And that's one thing, um, that Mr. R has already done twice, is he's gotten close enough to Marth that he can just trade with the Nerial. What? Uh-huh. Did he lose his jump? So he grabbed ledge. Oh, he did, yeah. Yep, and that was a bad air dodge. Mystery could have just done nothing until he saw the up B. The down B. Who I think is better, Marth, MK Lee or Mystery? I only played MK Lee as Marth in one game, and it was a friendly, so I don't know. Like, when I watch Leo's Marth, I feel like he's just a much better fundamental player. So, yeah. Nice nair. Oh, waits for the air dodge. Oh, he could have punished the landing if he was a bit faster, I think. Nice mm. jabs. And you really see how, um... I mean, Mystery could use some show breakers, maybe? I'm not sure, actually. Up close. Oh my god, all this damage up close. Clo oh, Mr. R went for the suicide kill there. That's smart, I like it. Didn't work out, but it's a good strategy. Down throw, bad DI, but gets away with it. Rolling, yep. And you see him, Mr. R is just trying to get really close to Marth. And try to trade, actually, which is weird, but it makes sense right now. Like, if both characters trade, because of the knockback difference, like, um, Mr. R would be put in a really good spot compared to Mr. E. I think it's also why Mr. R is generally trying to air dodge in and, like, just roll in versus Mr. E. Because he's not too afraid of getting hit if he can get a hit back in return. I see there's the trade. The trade favors him in terms of like positional advantage. Ooh, that was kinda risky. That will I'll call it suspect. That stock almost. I think the only thing that happened this uh, specific stock is um Mr. R tried to get in too much and be too aggressive as opposed to like play patient with needles and just outside of Marth's zone. And Marth is getting a lot of damage. And he doesn't really care about the damage he's taken too much, because he's already like Kill percent. Oh, that's it. Yep, yeah, roll in. I mean, that was a bad air dodge. Um, the thing is, Martha's not in a good spot no matter what. Like, Martha's off stage, he can get bouncing fished, needled, all this stuff. And I don't really think there's a good answer for, um, Mr. E and the disadvantage versus Sheik. Where Sheik can just bouncing fish away, go to ledge, and be relatively fine. Is Leo going to Genesis 4? I think he is, yeah. Leo's going to, like, all the major events now, which is really scary to think about. I'm not looking forward to fighting that. Um, game 2. I guess, I'm not sure Town City, honestly. Hmm, whatever. Town City it is. Maybe Mr. just doesn't know what stage to go to. So Town City is kind of just like the best of a lot of bad stages for him. Ooh, up he's out of the up tilt. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense because up tilt doesn't really string into itself. Well, the both hits of it, but yeah. Oh, 
That Nair is super dangerous. Oh, this could be a stock. Yep. No, Mr. E, why? Yep, and this is the biggest thing in the matchup I'm noticing. Is um, Actually, I can see why Sheik wins this matchup. At least, based on the way that Mr. E plays it. Because Mr. E is trying to keep Sheik at a pretty decent distance. And sometimes there's too much distance. Like, there's a lot of times where Mr. R just backs off. And doesn't really have pressure to push, punish for it. And so he just goes in with a mix-up, like tries to roll in or jump in or whatever. And then, as long as he's not getting hit by tip or aerials, Mr. R isn't taking enough damage to, like, make it worth the play safer versus Mr. E. And so because the damage isn't being built up at Mr. E enough, Mr. R gets one hit and gets in and gets, like, that 40 to 50 damage string at minimum. Whereas Mr. E is just kind of, like, getting nothing. Um, Martha's in top 10 for me anymore. He's really good, but after exploring the character a bit more, he's not, like, amazing. Like, he is, like... I'd say Miss Martha's, like, the bottom of top tier. Like, the top of high tier. Really good, but, um... His limitations have become a lot more obvious. As long as you avoid things like shield breakers and stuff. Which, um... Some characters can't play around it. Like, Martha's still gonna beat certain characters. Like, I'm pretty sure Martha is really well versus Mewtwo. I would imagine, anyway. Does really well versus Rosa. Um, probably just does really well versus a lot of the bigger characters or characters with slow movement speed. But then again, like someone like Diddy Kong or Sheik or probably even Sonic, who's just too fast and small for Martha to accurately hit consistently, should just beat him. I think Lucina would be better in this matchup, yes. Because Mystery is actually getting a lot of close range hits. And that's a good point, NTG. Is Lucina is getting a lot of. Oh, Mystery's getting a lot of close range hits. And if he was using Lucina, the extra damage would be like more than enough to balance out the uh, lack of tipper damage. Also, Mystery's landed a couple of forward smashes that aren't tippered, so like Lucina would just capitalize on that a lot better. Ah, oh, the grabs aren't working. I don't really think Mystery should be going for grabs as a defensive option like that. Like, the thing about grabbing is, um, it is positional advantage, but versus a character like Sheik who gets out of a bad position pretty easily anyway, if it's not like a combo, it's just not worth it. You see, like, Mystery gets a grab, not much damage generally. Um, and I think as a defensive, like, pivot grab or read roll option, it's pretty inefficient. Nair bouncing fish. Uh oh, this side B can be dangerous. Side B, side B. Only like 9 damage off that. Hmm, one thing Mystery is doing a little bit is he's rolling mid stage when he's given some distance. And I think, um, Mr. R could punish that if he wants to. But he's just not choosing to yet. <gasps> That's it, yep. This is probably the only time in this set so far that the tipper has really mattered. And this is like a Hail Mary tipper. That, that was just the I'm gonna go for a tipper and hope it hits. Guarantee. I guarantee Mystery just said, I mean, if you ask Mystery why he tipper, he'd probably just say, I don't know, I just felt like it. Guarantee is what he'd say. But that's Marth. I mean, I do think maybe Mr. Well, Mr. was cornered. Like, Mr. was pressuring the corner pretty hard with aerials. Um, and then he rolled in. And Mr. R was probably jumping just because he was trying to, like, find a way to get around Mr. E's pressure or, like, willing to take a whip, getting hit from a tipper or aerial or something. Like, Mr. R was jumping a bit. And he wasn't putting a bad spot. Like, put himself in a bad spot. But the roll-in put him in a really awkward spot where he was already jumping. And now Mr. E is behind him rolling. And, like, he's able to cover that space with a forward smash. And now, granted, if I'm Mr. R, I'm not expecting forward smash. I'm expecting a forward air or an air or something. But, like, it's just the fact that Mr. E got close enough to Mr. R because of the roll-in. That seemed very, like, random.
Exactly, Goof. I'm glad you can't agree with me. Game three. Ooh, that was kind of um, suspect. Do something I shoot? Oh, no. Actually, Mystery is. Well, Mystery is going to go with a lot of rolls up close. Oh, there's a punish. I wonder if Mystery is going to keep punishing these rolls. Or, like, let Mystery get away with them. Yeah, I think Mr. R is going to keep letting Mystery get away with the rolls right now. Because he doesn't want to commit to punishing them. Oh my god, the pressure is really good right now with the up bears. Oh, the air dodge save, Mr. R. That was actually pretty lucky on his part. Good reaction by Mr. E, though. I think if Mr. R didn't charge the up smash at all, it would have hit. Like, he kind of charged it slightly. I like to jump out of that situation. Because he's cornered and he doesn't want to, like, give himself an opening, but he wants to get out of the corner. So jumping the air covers a lot of options. And just unexpected. No, there's a few times where Mr. E has got a body for get air dodging. Like if Mr. E just upbeat here, he was fine, I think. And I think there was like another game where he air dodged and got bouncing fish for it as a result off stage. And off stage, I think Mr. E just needs to react more. Like he can specifically wait for position to just up B, but he just doesn't need to like air dodge the times he is. Ooh, B cast. Who's this guy with the nice Rosalina emote? Ooh, that's a nice emote this guy has. Hmm. But, um... So, yeah. That's a bad head about Mystery. Um, he's rolling a lot. He's trying to keep distance. He's really trying to roll away from Mr. R so he can get spacing down. And you see, every time Mr. E, like... Not every time, but, um... Anytime Mr. E doesn't attack and it whiffs... He's forced to either do something defensive or cover the unsafe option with a more unsafe attack. But, like, every time Mr. E misses an attack, he's just kind of in this awkward spot where it's like Mr. R now gets to play his game. Even if that only amounts to the fact that Mr. E has to commit to something, otherwise, Mr. R is going to put pressure on. Nice neutral air. Oh, catches the jump. And right here, I think it's an awkward spot to be in for the respawn. So Mystery just kind of let himself get hit there. I don't know how I feel about that. Nice out show punish. I didn't think that was going to reach. Ooh, Mr. R think he had punish there. Forward air side B. One thing I've noticed is um, Mr. R has stopped trying to get in aggressively versus Mystery. Like I think he realized um, that like when he went for super aggressive approaches, that Mystery was ready for it. But when he's playing the more bait and punish way for the attack outside of range. That like he's getting his hits. Mystery is either overextending or just whiffing too hard. Also, Mystery could have totally went for a forward smash there and killed Mr. R. Like if you look at this situation even. Like right here. Like Mr. E went for a really weird overextension. Gets punished, now he's gonna be put in a bad spot. Okay, mystery. Um, you don't know what you did wrong here. Okay, mystery. So from what I've been watching so far, the uh, the biggest thing is off stage. You have really bad play versus Sheik. Like that sounds mean, but what you can do a lot of times is you're off stage and you'll just fall and get caught by forward airs or bouncing fishes. 
instead what you can do is when you off stage for Sheik, save your jump. You need to have your jump. And you're going to want to do for Sheik, jump off stage, fast full air dodge so you get like, hmm. So let's just pretend this is the ledge here mid stage and you're around here off stage. You'd want to do jump up, fast fall, air dodge, and you want to make like this kind of like, almost like end into a U shape, because you're gonna up B after the fast fall, air dodge. And you go so low that Sheik can't bounce and fish you, but you go high enough that you can challenge Sheik with an aerial early, like if she jumps and chases you, forward or catches her. Or if you jump, you can wait for the option, but regardless, you're just waiting for an option normally when you jump here, before you fast fall, air dodge, and she can't chase that well. Um, so off stage, just do that, you'll be fine. Don't air dodge in general, or wait until she does something before air dodging. Like, wait for a bouncing fish. Wait for a jump forward air. Wait for whatever. Um, so yeah, what else? And now, in neutral, I think you're playing neutral fine, but I think, um, in the first game, Mr. R was generally trying to, um, he was trying to, like, kind of get close to you and trade with your attacks a lot. And just get in your face. And game two, he was kind of doing that a little bit. But game three especially, he just started playing super with punish. Um, I'm not sure what Marth has to, like, deal with this. Because Marth is obviously weak to pl people who play very with punish style. But, um, I guess just don't throw as many hitboxes when he's not in range to get caught by them. Because he was just kind of waiting for you to throw an attack out. And, like, hitting you. And a lot of times he got his damage because he overextended. Like, there you overextend with the jump and he punishes you. Overextend with the jump and he punishes you. You overextend with the falling aerial here. And then you're in the landing leg. You try to do something. But since he's chic, he can act before you can. And so, a lot of times, when you miss an attack or he blocks it, you put in these situations where you either have to cover the attack with another attack, like that forward smash. Or you have to roll back and be defensive. Neither of those are good. I do think also... I mean, this is obviously what everyone's going to tell you, but... Go, Lucina! Please, Mystery! Fucking love Lucina. Because there are so many situations in this match where I saw a close-range forward smash that would have killed if that was Lucina. Where you have a close-range arrow that trades with Sheik and you get, like, 5 damage as opposed to 8. And, like, there's very rarely a time where the tipper mattered, because you were either hitting with, like, the close range of Moth's Blade, or whiffing attacks. You were almost never getting a tipper. Also here, um, at the ledge specifically, just wait. Right here. So, in this exact position, if Sheik down tilts you, you're dead, probably, from, like, down tilt, forward air, up air, but... I think with Sheik's Rage, plus the fresh down tilt, plus your percentage, down tilt will not string into anything. Like, I don't know Mart's exact weight, but I think you'll be fine. And what I think Sheik can do otherwise is Bouncing Fish here, which is obvious, or like Run Up Area, which is obvious. So, Sheik has no way to press you in the ledge directly here. You also could just do regular getup. Um, because Sheik actually doesn't punish regular getup at like, like she can't really kill you well for this. She has to read it super hard and do, like, a Bouncing Fish or a Smash. Or, like, maybe Nair will kill you, but I doubt it, because it's a little bit decayed, I think. Okay, Mystery. I'm not sure about Marth's percent, whatever. So I'm not going to argue with that, but I think you'd be fine anyway. Um, but yeah, Jump Air Dodge. I mean, you're in a bad spot regardless, but... I think the trick is just don't Jump Air Dodge. Because when you act with the Air Dodge so early, you're giving Mr. R all the time he wants to react. Like, even if he didn't bouncing fish you, jump air dodge was not getting out of that position. Because look at Mr. R's position. Right here. Jump air dodge. He's gonna react to that, because he's gonna be like, oh, you're air dodging into me. Punish with all these attacks. Like, normally a player here is either gonna shield or roll back. And he chooses instead to roll back. Now, if he was here, jump air dodge would be a good mix up, because he can do like that into an up B or something. But, yeah. That's one of those things when I fight Sheik. If Sheik is over here, I'm kind of scared because she can kill me with up smash or a lot of different things for my getups. But if she's, like, over here, she can't really do much to kill me if I just stay in this zone without giving her a chance to bouncing fish. And she can't really bouncing fish from here that well. 
Like, she has to be more like here or like here about some fish me. And obviously, if I already won't kill me. We can Nair won't combo into Bouncing Fish at this percent, so I'm not worried about that. Forward Tail won't set up a kill. So even just jumping and then waiting for something would be better here. But I think regular getup was the most optimal choice by far. Or rolling. Sheik actually is bad at punishing rolls because... Think about this from Sheik's perspective. She has to kill you by like smashing if you roll. But if you roll and she misses a smash, like down smash or whatever, you can punish that pretty hard. So, Rolling's actually really good at the kill percents, until you're like at dash attack kill percent. But then at that point, you're dead from everything. Game 4, Battlefield. Mm -hmm. Even, let's see, this is Lucina, 5 damage on the side B probably. Not much, but like, 5 damage on the side B. Or 4, whatever. That would probably be like a 10 damage area as opposed to 8. I just see these all the time. Good walling right now. Good out shield punish there. Yep, see he gets close to you, hits... He blocks an attack and now you have to do something. But he's in a position to punish you for doing something. Nice out your punish. Right now your punishes in this game are really crisp. Good punish. Could you play more reactionary versus Sheik in general? Because if you played like this, like, out of shield, like, aerial punish game consistently versus Mystery, I think you would have bodied him. Jump shield, I like that. You just do nothing right now. Platform movement. I don't know what that back air was for. You got laggy, whatever. Oh, here? Right here? Missed the grab, whatever. You don't need to retreat here. Like, it makes sense, but if you look at this position with the grab specifically... Let's assume that... You can't react to Mr. E rolling back. Or Mr. R rolling back. You just assume, okay. I can't react to this... I'm in a position where I missed the grab. You can cover this position really well with a jab. Because Mr. R cannot roll in versus jab. He also cannot jump in versus jab. He cannot dash show versus jab. He can't do a lot of things versus jab because he didn't act quickly. So I think you could have jabbed here and covered a lot of options safely. Like specifically because he can't cross roll up. Well, roll cross up versus you. And the rollback just kind of gave him that space he wanted. Same thing there, Jab. Catch easier jump in. Um, that was smart on his part. You've got caught by a few trumps, but they're not killing you. They're just like a little bit of damage. Nice aerial. I like the patience there. Yeah, you're really catching him off guard with the game. This game with all the patience. Nice. Jumps. Um, just be careful at high percents of jumping, because um, I notice a lot when you're jumping at high percents versus him, he like catches you with needles. Down smash. Also, I'm pretty sure almost every time you've just gone for a raw smash, they've connected. Like, I've seen way too many smash attacks hit him. And you know what makes sense? Think about this when you're fighting Sheik. She has less range than you. If you're already able to hit her with, like, aerials because she has to challenge them sometime and loses, why not go for smashes? I think just going for, like, the super ballsy, like, forward smashes more would be really good to scare Sheik from trying to even, like, get close to you. Nice out shield punch with up B. Nice forward air. Oh, thank you, Tofu Bliss, for the resub. Resub hype. I appreciate that, dude. Nice. Yep, the bait and punish game. Oh, he gets in, though. Did he just mash out that pummel? He did. Too aggressive with the pummels. 
In this situation, you shouldn't spot dodge after you, they mash out of the pummel. No reason for you to do that. Nice jab setup. Nice jab setup. Do I think Major Tournament should have Brawl side event? No. Because as much as Brawl was a fun game to play, Brawl is a shitty spectator game. I mean, I play the game a lot, and even I just admit the game is not fun to watch. So, yeah. That's, uh... That's that, you know? Sorry to say it, folks. Mm -hmm. I got game five. Um, I'm assuming it's gonna be something like... Maybe? Well, can't be town, can't be FD. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Maybe Duck Hunt? Yeah, I'm gonna imagine Mr. Argo's Duck Hunt. Why would Koma play Sonic against Void and Mr. R? Because generally speaking, Sonic does better than Cloud against Sheik. Okay, Town? Wait. You let him go back to Town, Mystery? Or did you beat him on... Wait, wait. Did you beat him on Town? Oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. You did. Okay. Nice punish on up close. That roll in was a little bit awkward. Come right next to you, but whatever. Yeah, right now you have Mr. Uh, R pretty scared. Throw through bouncing fish, whatever. Jump, get needled. Yeah, and look, look at this. This is exactly the thing you need to stop doing. It covers a lot of options, but then look at this. You're forced to do something unsafe. And then down here is unsafe. Now you're forced to do an upbeat. And like, you... I just want to put this in perspective. If I missed Sir R, what I saw here was just someone who was about to fall. Like, about to trip on their own shoes or something. So in order to stop tripping, they grabbed onto, like, a railing on the side. Flipped themselves over on the railing. And then, as they're flipping, tried to flip backwards onto their feet. That's kind of the perspective and mindset I would be thinking right now. I would compare it to. As to Mr. R's perspective here. Ooh, I like that. Raw forward smash. Those keep working and they're so good. Ooh, did he nail your foot? He did, that was good. Oh, hey, Jen. What's up? I didn't know you were uh, here. Long time no see. At least in the uh, stream chat. <laughs> I love that forward smash. Do that so much more, Mystery, please. Oh, bad air dodge. You could have died for that air dodge. Actually, I guess you could have died. We didn't need the air dodge there. Jump in, do nothing. That's good. Oh, once again, no air dodge there. No, why would you do that? No, stop air dodging mystery. And like, look right here. Landing leg. I think if you just did fall over here, like fast fall here, you would've been fine. And you would've actually been able to throw a side B and punish him. So what do you do then? Just nothing mystery. I'm just saying with you specifically, you air dodge too much. Like first of all here, you put yourself in a bad spot by air dodging. That, that's the key. Is you need to fall air dodge, you could just fell with an aerial, like, and not fast fell. You could just fell and did nothing. Like, there's a lot of things you could have done, and I think you should practice at this height, options to get off this platform, without putting yourself in landing leg. But anyway, um, forward tilt. Now, you didn't DI this properly either, which really sucks, because you DI'd this 
in. If you didn't DI this in, you would have been fine. But here, um, you don't awkward spot no matter what, yes. 50-50 basically, but what you have to remember about this situation, Mystery, is in this situation, if Robin wants to combo you, he can. Like, Furrow Toad up air should be a combo here regardless of air dodging or not. So, there's no reason to air dodge when you get comboed here. Just jump away if you can. If you get combo, no big deal. Jump at distance, and he gets punished for that. Good approach there. Oh, that's uh, that's lame. I I'm sorry, mystery. That's actually just lame. <laughs> I mean, he's been trumping you a lot, and if I was you, I'd recognize that and just. Keep doing options and me left the ledge. Like, do rolls. Do some ledge rolls just to mix them up. But that sucks. I'm sorry. Maybe you could DI away. Actually, I'm trying to think. In this situation. Um. Could you just jump side B here? Yeah, why not do, um. Jump side B here. To stall yourself in the air. Because she can only do this at a certain height. Like, she can has to do rising full hop buffer needles to bouncy fish. If she does full hop and she doesn't buffer the needles, she doesn't get this. So she cannot do this on reaction and she cannot stall it. She has to jump at this exact height. So just side B here, stall yourself out for a couple frames and they would just not connect, I don't think. And if you get out, the needle bouncing fish shouldn't connect at this percentage, but I'm not going to send completely positive on that. Okay, run up, good. Too close, yeah. Right here, you dashed a little bit too up to Mr. R. Like, if you just dashed and you got over here instead of here, you could have side B and been a lot safer with your pressure. But here, because you're next to him, you're actually in a 50 50 situation that you don't need to put yourself in. Then you a bad spot. Oh, and then here you didn't have to land with the aerial. Too aggressive, but you haven't done that too many times, so that's fine. I feel like you're getting punished a lot for side B's. Like, I think you can use two things to help you out a lot in this matchup. Jab, just because it's a little bit... Let me look at the frame data on Jab. But I feel like the Jab would just be um a better way to cover like defensively in that situation. It's not a bad FF at all on Jab. Compared to uh, Dancing Blade. So maybe try that. Maybe also down tilt. Because if you down tilt, you can crouch under back airs and neutral airs and forward airs from Sheik. So Sheik should be forced to do falling aerials on you to hit you in that case. Oh, thank you, Mom Maluma, for the resub. Resub hype. Appreciate it. Hey, young Tommy. Yeah, so Jab would have helped you there. Down tilt might have crouched under the attack. Oh, no, you're panicking now. Yeah, mister, you are completely panicking right now here. Oh, no! That's it? Yeah. Yeah, if you look at this entire stock from when you spawn, there was a huge shift in your gameplay. Blah, blah, too close with the spacing. Really panicky up B. Fall right into Mr. R. Whatever, this is fine, this is fine. I think you need something else besides side B, but that's me personally. Combo frame trap. Oh, thank you, Waffle Dinosaur, for the sub. Sub hype, I appreciate that dude with that Twitch Prime. We're now halfway at the sub goal for today, so thank you so much for that. Mm hmm. Yeah, this is fine. Air dodge on stage. And here, once again, don't land stage. Like, even if you got past ramen here, landing leg. Actually, maybe a bit. Would have got air dodge into a buffered aerial and I have landing leg, but, um. I think regardless, that was a bad air dodge on stage. 
You should have went to the ledge here. And that's it. And then, of course, Kira reacted to a bit better there, but, um... Yeah, when she hits the back issue with Furrow Tilt, you have no answers to that, and that kind of sucks. Okay, Mystery. Um, yeah. It's really just he gave himself too many openings with, uh, certain things. Definitely use Lucina. Like, just play Lucina. Honestly, even if it's not... Like, even if you don't want to play Lucina for some matchups, play Lucina for, like, a week or two and just her. Just to, like, get used to her so you can pull out against matchups like this. Because you would have won with Lucina. I will guarantee you that. Um, the landing lag thing, just, um, practice a little bit more on, like, not giving yourself lag. Because, like I said, there's a lot of times where you just kind of got put in these situations where you didn't need lag, and you did. Like, maybe off that one platform on Town City. Um, relax in the side B's a bit, especially up close, because you got punished a lot for side B's, and I feel like the damage on side B's you got definitely did not out-damage what he got on you. Oh, yes, I do remember Needles from the next-gen tournament swap for Dinosaur. That's you? Cool. Um, otherwise, though, you played it fine. You know, just adapt to some things that you got punished for. Also, with, like, getting ledge trumped a bit, the air dodges at bad times. Um, and, yeah, there's not too much to make of it. Oh, yeah, that was the last thing. The last thing was forward smash, please. Please, please just forward smash more. Uh, like, this sounds scrubby to just say forward smash more. But I, I would say about out of the six forward smashes you did this set, five of them landed. And you know why? Because he was never ready for just the range of forward smash and the speed of it. In fact, how fast is forward smash? Frame 10? Like, that's a fast, powerful move with huge range. And Ram was never ready for it. Mm-hmm. <laughs>